Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of T-Shirt Design Tutorial. So today I am going to make another tutorial for my fiber client. So I am going to show you how to work for a client on fiber because this is different than print on demand design. In print on demand design you can just use almost anything but in a client work you cannot do that because someone is paying you for an original work so you cannot just take something from any stock site or sell them but you can i am also making this tutorial to show because you can take some part of your design from a from any stock site so this design here i am going to make is a design request for a glazier team that means a glazier is who works with glass so if you search like this you will find this article here that Eglizer is a tradesman responsible for cutting, installing and removing glass. That means whoever works with installing glass you can see on big buildings or in window or door. Those people who put glasses or work with glasses on there they call Glazier. So this is the theme for it and this is some text I will be using for my this design. So I was searching for some reference and I find that these are the grippers glazier used to hold the glass so these are like suction cups so they press it on glass and it holds the glass like something like this you can see here and then they can move the glass by holding that so something like this you can see they are putting that suction cup here and they are holding that and that is carrying the glass so this is how it works so this is an important tool for a glazier so the requirement was to make something with that so i am going to first of all illustrate the thing here but i need to make an idea so the idea i has or the, or the idea i generated was something like this i will use that tool here and then i will use someone holding the, this by hand something like this and this is the main graphic will be of my this design so i am going to use this hand from free pick so as I was saying, you can use a small part of your design or you can illustrate a new hand if you want. That's just will take some more time. So for making it short tutorial, I'm going to use this hand for now. And this is the tool I will be using, but I'm not going to use in this position here. I will illustrate it in flat style. So as I started a basic drawing series here, so I'm going to illustrate everything from complete scratch. So I'm going to make it make an ellipse here. So this is the this is the one part of it so you can see they all three are just same so if i can make one i can simply copy that three times that will be easier so i'm going to make this shape here then i'm going to create another shape but in this time i'm going to use this in negative direction so this offset path i'm going to in going in minus direction something similar to this as you can see here then i'm going to create another shape here which is also in the negative direction and this one I'm going to make it a little bit like this then I will change it to fill so this is the shape here now I'm going to control press control C okay so maybe I have that keyboard shortcut here so I'm going to press control C and then control F that will make it copy and paste in front then I will select one of this part and then I will place it something like this and then I will make it bigger so this is the shadow part i want to create so i have now two ellipses one this one and another on this one so i'm going to select both of them and then i'm going to use shift m so shift m is for shape builder and i'm going to remove this part so you can see this is how it is looking right now the 3d shape of the glazier tool so i can simply select this one maybe i will create another offset path but this time i will create it in this direction which is fine totally then make it fill color Ctrl C, Ctrl F, just to make a little shape like this. And then I will select this two, press Shift M and erase this. Okay, so this is just being the overlap here. So this is how it is looking. I am going to press Shift M, then press Alt and remove it. So you can see this is how it is looking. I can simply adjust it like this. So you can see this is how it is looking like a 3D shape of one of this part. So then the second part I am going to illustrate is this one. So I am not going to make it exactly like this, but I will use something similar to that. So this is one shape I am going to create here. So I am going to make it a group here. 
then I will bring a copy and then I will make it really smaller something like this which is fine so now I am going to join it with the line so let me okay so before doing that I'm going to select these two and I'm going to align them in the center so that it doesn't know move from its position then I'm going to create a box a rectangle here not just a box I'm going to align it in the center just like this then I'm going to select it with this make it in this stroke style which is good then I'm going to make it copy so control C control F then I'm going to make it smaller like this then I will bring this in this position but I need to make sure that everything stays in similar size so I'm going to select this two and pick eyedropper to click on this one so this is how it is going to look this is good now for this one making this look like a steel or something shiny I need to add some lines here so one line like this then I will just copy this one like this and then I am going to make it smaller so you can see this is how it is going to look like a don't worry how it is looking it will look better so let's group it now this is good and for this area here I am going to make it make a shadow so I am going to use my pen tool here something like this not that way which is really good just like this so this is fine now I need to make this on top so I need to do some adjustment you have to watch it carefully so okay before doing that I can simply just make everything expand from here so that will be easier so once it is expanded I'm going to select this group and I want to erase it from this area so that my this part stays on top but here I need to erase this part you can erase this or you can use transparency to hide so let me say if I select this shape I am going to open transparency and here I can simply create another ellipse which will hide that part in black just like this but if you don't understand this process just don't worry I am going to select this shape and then I am going to use my eraser tool so a little bit bigger and then I am going to erase it from here and by doing that you can see now it is just looking like this part is on top and this is the main element of my this graphic I'm going to make it a copy here then maybe I'll make it smaller so for making that glazier tool look I'm going to copy this one I'm going to reflect it here just like this I'm going to make it a little bit wider than the original tool here because I want to place a hand in between that so this is just fine don't worry and I'm going to place it here that's good so selecting these two I'm going to align them in the center grouping them then I will select this three and if I align them in the center it is going to be in the center position so this one must be somewhere like this so this is how it is going to look and then I need to connect them so I'm going to just make the same thing here just like this so one I'm going to make it in this way which is really good in this way maybe or maybe a bit bigger I need to maintain this size of the stroke there and then I'm going to take my rectangle tool again just to make it look like this and then I'll bring another line here just like this so this is how it is going to look I'm going to make it a group so I will just move it rotate this thing like here maybe in this way so that it looks something like this and this part is really good let's make a copy here then reflect it I'm going to select this one align in the center position this is how it is looking but I need to select bring this one somewhere like this now for making sure that it is it is in the center position I'm going to select this two I'm going to align them then I'm going to make them a group then I will select this shape and then I will make that the key object then I'll align it in the center so you can see this is how it is looking right now and this is the perfect center position now here I will need to do some transparency of course because it is going to be a bit detailed area so I need to I need to select one of this group here I'm going to make this 
I'm going to make a copy of them. Then I'm going to rotate the position something like this so that it fits perfectly. I always try to center it with the border of my illustrator that really helps. So something like this will help me and that is fine. So this one I want to make it a little bigger something like this and for that I am going to select this one this a stroke and make it smaller. So this is how it is going to look right now and then I will place this one here. So I am going to select this one make it the key object and then align it in the center. So as you can see here this is how it is looking right now and I need to do some adjustment here. So maybe I need to make one more thing here which is I need to make a round area something like this so that I can place that inside my okay I will show that in a bit so something like this this area looks really good so I'm going to align in the center position then just double click to isolate the group so I'm going to select this shape this group and you can see the here I am selecting this three I'm going to make them group then I'm going to expand them so that I can easily change the colors so maybe we'll make them something different color so this is how it is looking now for this area I need to select this one and this one and make a copy so that is fine now from here I'm going to select this group and then open transparency and then here press ctrl F so control F will place my that to ellipse here and then I'm it, these are now in a stroke mode. So if I press shift X, it will make it fill. So as you can see when it is being filled, it is hiding those area. And if there is something missing here, you can see we can simply take our pencil tool to hide that part and that is really good. So from here, I need to make sure that I have a similar ellipse here. Just like this, then I will cut that one. I will place it here don't worry just select this group go inside the transparency and then press ctrl shift x here and when it is done it is looking like this i am going to hide this part that is good so it is looking like this not very perfect but it will so first of all this part this lower part should be on top of the other two so let's change the color so if i select this group i can open transparency for it now make sure the fill color is black take your pen tool and then just draw a shape like this that will hide it just follow my steps so this is how it is going to look right now and that part is looking really good and this part this part which is visible through my this shape should be invisible so i am selecting this group you can see here which is being selected then open transparency make sure the fill color is black then again take your pen tool just to make a shape like this don't worry about how it is looking right now it will look exactly perfect so this is how it is looking okay so another thing i want to need to do which is i need to do the same thing for this part too and then maybe this is really easy so i'm going to select this shape open transparency and then here i'm going to do the same thing don't worry about any small mistakes we can always fix it later so this is how it is looking right now and if i select this group and then make it black you can see this is how it is going to look this is the perfect way of illustrating this kind of metal thing one really small problem here and which is you can see this part is being visible so i'll fix that and now for fixing that i'm going to select everything from here and then expand them i'm using my shortcut ctrl 2 and ctrl 3 for expanding but you need to go to object and expand here you can see this is my shortcut custom shortcut i set for them so first of all i'm need, going to select this one then i'll take my eraser tool I can simply use transparency but in this time I don't want to do that so I'm going to select this one again I'm going to remove that part so it is going to look perfect which is really good and then from here I'm just going to erase this part 
so as you can see here this is how it is looking now this part is looking a little bit longer in my opinion so i need to fix that i'm selecting my direct selection tool to select it like this then i'm pressing my arrow key two times to the left so i will make it two times to the right here then i will make it two times down here so that will fix my problem so as you can see this is how it is looking this is the perfect glass gripper illustration for us here and then i will use my this shape here so i need to just make it a little bit smaller because this tools is really big tool is really big so i'm going to make it reflect in a way like this so that i can represent this hand is holding that tool something like this or maybe a bit bigger in size so okay let's make it a little smaller so this position looks good to me i need to change the color so that i can see what is going on here i'm digging that to the front so i'm going to use this one this hand here i need to do some adjustment here you can see if the hand is holding that tool then from this part of this big finger that tool should not be visible so i'm going selecting this group i will open transparency make sure the fill color is black and here i am going to use my pencil tool so in this direction i am going to just hide that part just like this so it should not be that tool should not be visible from here so yes brother i am located located in bangladesh so in this position this part also should not be visible so let's try to hide this something like this maybe but this is not looking like that part okay so there is a little problem in this hand i will fix that real soon okay guys so i'm extremely sorry the problem of this hand is this the details or the fingers are not long enough so it is not going to fit so that's why i need to change the hand here and this is another hand from free pick i will use this one and the reason i am showing you this because you can take the hand from free pick but you will not get this kind of vectors every, everywhere so you need to illustrate that for working for you working for your client so that is the reason of showing this so i am going to use this hand and this the finger details here are little better than the previous one so it is going to look good for us and that is the way i am going to place it now again i am going to do the same thing i am going to change the color here so that we can see now this part of the i am going to open the transparency here and then for this one i am going to take my pencil tool and for this part i am going to make it look something like this so this is good now for this one i am going to as you can see here this part i want to keep that visible because here it should be visible and for making that i am going to select my hand right now if it can be a little confusing but don't worry i will fix that so from here the hand part will be invisible so something like this also i need to make it look like this so that it looks like that part is in the background and from here i can just keep it as it is for now and that is good so this is how it is going to look right now and there is a little problem here when you are working with transparency and you are applying that to both objects so i need to select this group here then whatever i draw inside this area i need to simply erase some part of it so like this so that is good now it is going to look good if i change it to black so you can see this is how it is looking and there is a little problem you can see from here i need to fix this part just like this and then it is good so this is how it is going to look right now and this is the main graphic part of my this design i'm going to keep it a group and then i'm going to add my text here so the main text is going to be the glaciers of course that is the main part of the design and then this is the text i will be using 
I'm going to use this one. Glass workers. I'm going to put XXX for now because I don't want to just I don't want to put any number for this tutorial because this is just a demo tutorial I cannot use my client information here so that is fine and then I will use the main text which is glaciers so this is good now I will maybe not use that one so this is how it is going to look I am going to make it a group for now then I am going to take a ellipse here just like this okay so i am using this anyway so this is the ellipse here i am going to select everything then i am going to align it in the center position so for this ellipse i want to make it just touching the edge of my graphic there so maybe something in this position then it will be smaller so this part this edge part overlapping a little bit that's what i want here so something like this this is going to work so this position looks good now i am going to select this ellipse i am going to make it a little smaller then i will use another ellipse here which is going to be the text line then i will use another ellipse which is going to be the outline so in this middle ellipse i will use my text so before doing that i am going to select this shape open transparency for it and then i am going to use my pencil tool here just to draw a simple line from here to hide this part so you can see that is good now if i select this ellipse here i will open transparency make sure that you are not working in a stroke color but in fill color so this is good i am going to draw an ellipse here just like this then i will make it make sure that it is the same size of that smaller ellipse then i am going to copy this shape I am going to paste it here and then I will just adjust it with the border of my ellipse. I want to keep this effect here which will look like this is overlapping with my ellipse and that is good. Now for this one I am going to select cut this text and select this middle one. I am going to take my type on a path tool and then press ctrl V to paste that text here so this niche i am going to use a harder looking font a distress looking font so that's why i will use explorer paint version and maybe this one so i want to just make it real big here i will use i am going to go to type type on a path type on a path options then change it to center press ok that is good and this one okay so that is a little bit bigger so maybe i can just change it to this font okay let's use this one and then i am going to make it a little bigger this way and i need to change this direction something like this and then again i am going to use it something like this so this is how it is looking i am going to press this center button here that will make my text in the center and for placing the text in the right position i need my rulers so i am going to press the ruler here and then if i select this one i will just make sure that my that anchor point or that indicator is matching with my ruler here just like this and that's how the text will be in the center so don't worry so this is how it is looking i am going to okay so let's try another font a little bigger font and glass workers so this font is looking really good better than the previous one then i am going to copy this so ctrl c ctrl f that will paste in front i am going to change the direction here and this one here i am going to change the text local union number xxx i'm going to make it a little smaller than the main text then i'm going to put an ellipse here so that it makes the text breaking and then i will copy it here 
okay so that part looks good now this is going to be the main design for my this one and uh, i hope this was helpful i will colorize it or if i need to make any changes for my client i will do that but this is how you can work here don't worry you can just illustrate simple things it can take some time but it will be perfect work and it will be there will be no kind of nothing copyright related or no copyright issues so you can give this to your client and he will never face any kind of corporate problems so that's it for today's tutorial guys i hope this was helpful it, if i should make more tutorials for on fiber clients like this let me know in the comment section so thank you for watching my videos see you in the next video guys have a great time